Okay, good morning. Today is the day of the victim fan sign. Um, I actually have to work today, so I'll be at work until like 4. The fan sign is at 7, but we need to be at the venue at 6. 10, but it's only like half an hour from where I live, so I have some time to come back here after work and get ready. It is 5.30, I need to get there, I'm hoping to get there like 6.30, it's only 20 minutes from where I live, like 30 minutes, and I also need to go to Daiso and buy a tripod, because the only tripod I have is a mini one, and it's not going to work for this fan sign, so I'm going to try and get a bigger. I am at the venue right now, sorry I did not vlog on the way here because... Um, it was just a little bit of a rush for me. Um, I ended up running quite late, so I ended up having to rush here. Um, I now have 10 minutes. I've got my number. I am number 81, so I'm going to go down now and find my seat. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> 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 Thank you. 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 Thank you.
너무 고생했어요 여러분 안녕 어, 너무나도 고마워 아유 집갈때또 짜증나겠다 <웃음> 아왜 이렇게 비가 많이 오는 거야 그러면서 <웃음> 고마워요 It took about three hours for it to end, and I'm rushing home because it is currently raining. So I want to get home before it absolutely falls because I did not bring an umbrella. But once I get home, I will give you a more thorough kind of walkthrough of what happened and my conversations with each of the boys. But honestly, they are so sweet, and I felt like I had a good minute with each of them. But anyways, I'll talk about it later. Um, I will see you when I'm home. The Victor Van Zandt was a lot of fun. It took almost four hours, as I said in the previous clip, which is very long compared to how quick the BTS one went. And the BTS one had more people as well. But I only purchased, I believe, 17 albums for this. Um, and I managed to get in, which is really not a lot, considering that people buy hundreds for bigger groups. Um, I didn't even expect to be going in. I didn't buy this for myself. I did it for a group order back in Australia. So on the day that the purchasing finished um, they released a list of all the names and of course my name was on there um, it has to be the same name as my passport name because that is the ID I bring um, to match to confirm that I am that person there and the first thing you do when you get there is obviously they check you in um, and it's a hundred people and you randomly draw a seat out of like a little bucket um, so it is randomly you get to select it um, so it's different to like the fans I went to for BTS where it was like in the order of um, you arrived so this is completely random I drew number 81 um, which meant I was quite behind in the seating but I didn't complain because the venue is so small it doesn't really matter um, Lister, but for the victim fan sign it is actually an album fan sign so you do have to bring your own album so I have their current album um, and with the album what you have to do is label the pages of which you want the members to sign so if you don't have any sticky notes at home do not fret um, they actually have um, the people at the venue they do give out free sticky notes for you to label your pages um, essentially you just use like I cut up a giant sticky note and I put all the members name like this and I stuck them onto the pages in my album that I wanted them to sign so that's completely up to you um, which page you want but um, it was very clear with the rules that they don't sign anything else except for your albums they don't sign your photo cards or you know anything else you want them to sign it's only the album with the album at the front um, they do require you to put a sticky note with your name on it so this one has my name on it I wrote it in both English and Korean so that they could have a choice of which one they wanted to put um, so yeah I labeled my album I put my name on my album people at the venue who actually look through your album to make sure there is nothing you know bad or inappropriate or that's not supposed to be in there um, they check it before you go up so if you do put a sticky note in um, they just tell you to take it off not a big deal they won't kick you out for anything like that um, but yeah they do tell you the rules at the beginning but obviously if you don't know Korean um, just best way is to look at the people who are going up and you'll get a good idea um, for this fan site also you are allowed to bring gifts for the boys so um, a lot of the fans did but I literally found out last minute so I didn't have time to buy anything and I was working all day Saturday so it was very very hectic day for me so all I managed to do was um, I wrote a letter on behalf of someone back in Australia um, so that's kind of all I did which is okay like not every fan brings in gifts so don't feel like you're obliged to bring them a gift if you want to bring them a gift or you know something that they like of course go ahead you should um, bring it and buy it and also you don't have to buy for every member um, it's not like a have to thing it's more of a showing your fan appreciation sort of thing so just really um, I went up it was probably two hours later yeah I remember it was like about 9 10 or something like that until it was my turn so I sat there for a good long time kind of just waiting for my turn and as I said like they spend almost up to a minute with each fan which is amazing because it's like you know it's it feels like you could actually hold a genuine kind of ongoing conversation and a lot of the fans did um, because obviously they have Korean skills I mean it, I, I struggled a little bit when it was my turn but the boys were seriously so sweet and 
it was really really amazing so I think I'll go member by member and just kind of explain my experience with each of them and kind of my conversations so the first member I had was Hanse um, now my friend wanted me to ask him about his English uh, about his mixtape um, and actually when I said the same thing as an introduction to all the boys I said uh, no Jessica so I was like oh I'm from Australia and I said so I said I saw them first time at KCON in Australia and then I'd say oh no much like I really really liked your stage um, and they were always like really good to reacting to that and I said to Hanse, oh, you know, my Korean isn't that good. I was like, oh, I don't my time with tail. And he was like, in English, he's like, it's okay. Trust me, uh, I'm very good. And I was like, oh, really? Like in English? And then he's like, yeah, yeah, you have to trust me. So I was like, okay, then I have a question. And he, and then I repeated that in Korean. And I was like, oh, when will your mixtape come out? Will you be coming out with a mixtape? And then he like immediately switched back to Korean, which I thought was super cute. But essentially he explained that he will release some tracks um, soon on his SoundCloud and then he'll work on a kind of more official album later on, which will be released, which I thought was super, super cool. He's really, really beautiful up close. Like, oh, they all are so beautiful. Like, like I said for BTS fans, I none of these boys have perfect skin. Like, they look like they have amazing skin on camera, but when you're up close to them, they're just like us. Um, again, there are creases in their foundations. They have um, hyperpigmentation and uneven skin um, surface, which is completely normal. Like, I do not expect them to have absolutely amazing skin I don't have absolutely amazing skin like even the person with the most absolutely amazing skin doesn't have absolutely amazing skin um, so yeah he looked beautiful he had like contacts in and I couldn't stop staring you know like kind of like hypnotizing contacts um, anyways I was like oh we kind of have the same color hair at the moment and he was like oh yeah like it's like a red color and I was explaining how my hair color is currently made out of like pinks and purples and oranges and reds and then I was like to him I did it myself and he was like whoa like that's so good and then I had to move on and then he was like oh thank you and I was like oh thank you um after him is Chan Chan was actually walking into this fan sign he was my bias but walking out let me just tell you my bias definitely changed um but Chan is the so Hanse was the only member that wrote my name in English um everybody else wrote it in Korean which I do not mind at all so Chan I remember I got to him and I told him that um I met him, like, same thing, I'm from Australia, I met him when they were in Australia for KCON, um, and actually if you watch um, YouTube, you know that Ariana is a girl who has a channel here, and she's been to a lot of victim fan signs, so his first question was, oh, are you Ariana's friend? And I know her by her videos, but I do not know her personally, so I was like, oh no, not really, sorry, and he kept on apologizing, and I was like, it's okay, um, but... When he said, when I talked to him about KCON, he was like, oh, that's when we did um, Fire, right? And I was like, yeah, yeah, it was a really, really good cover, like a really, really good stage. Um, he said he really, really enjoyed Australia and that I told him that currently, because he asked if I'm in Korea just for the fan sign, and I said, no, I study and work here. He was asking me what my work is and what I was studying and he was like oh you know where are you studying what are you studying and I was like oh I'm at Seoul National University I'm studying Korean he's like whoa like that's so cool your Korean is so good which is a complete lie my Korean is a mess um, so I was like oh no 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 it's not good and Korean is so hard to learn and he was like he kept on being like oh no your Korean is really good and you'll do really really well like fighting and stuff like that he was seriously so 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 sweet um, and of course this conversation was mainly in Korean there's literally no English except for Hansei who spoke a little bit and Byungchan which I will get to and then the next member was Subin oh. Subin is just so cute like he is literally like <sighs> so 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 cute um this is his signature, it's like a little star. Um, and I was telling him when he was signing this page, I was like, this picture came out so well, like you look so good in it. And he was like, oh, thank you. Um, and again, I told him, you know, I met you in Australia when you were at KCON. And he's like, oh yeah. And I asked him, you know, if there is 
a cake on next year or this year in Australia do you think you will come back and he was like oh if there is a cake on and if I can I will def we will definitely come back and I was like oh, thank you so much like you know I really would like love you guys to come back and he was so cute I think out of all the members he probably had the nicest skin but he's also the youngest member so I guess sometimes the youngest member do have the nicest skin but he had really nice skin he was just ah oh, he's so cute like he's honestly probably the yeah definitely the cutest member there I just all my predict protect protect uh, protective instincts was coming out when I was with him I was like ah oh, I just want to like protect you forever from the world and all things bad um, the next member is Songwoo Songwoo ne Songwoo is here um, I asked him if he wants to come back to Australia and he said yes he really wants to come back at least one more time because even though he came to Australia he didn't get to see the kangaroos and he really really wants to see them um, and I explained to him that in Australia I am actually a vet student um, and for some time I actually worked with kangaroos and he was like oh that's really really cool like I really want to meet them and you have like a really cool job and I was telling him how now I'm just an English teacher here with kids and he was like oh that's really really cool too um, but yeah he said he definitely wants to come back to Australia one more time to see the kangaroos and that he really really enjoyed Australia because it was really really beautiful so yeah I like looking at him I couldn't um, stop seeing the resemblance between him and his sister and I was like you guys just Good genes in that family. Really, really, really good genes. Okay, next member was Byung-chan. <sighs> his dimples, let me tell you, his dimples is just like everything right now. Um, so he is the only member that speaks fully in English with me, even though I was talking to him in Korean, um, which I thought was kind of funny, but it was a really, really, really good experience. And his English is pretty good. I was really, really impressed. Um, and yeah, he was asking me what I was doing in Korea and I said that I am here teaching English and studying and I told him that before the fan sign I had work from 9 to 4 and that it was I'm a little bit tired which is honest truth I was a bit tired by 9 p.m. that day um, and he was like oh no he's like he's like oh you know you know white thing like work hard you can do it it's okay and then he said um uh, yeah, he said cheer up, um, which he actually wrote on here, um, which I thought was super super cute. And I actually I gave him the letter that I my friend wanted me to give him, and I actually had translated her letter into Korean. But I told him that in Korean that my Korean isn't that good, so there's probably a lot of mistakes. And he was straight away he's like, it's okay, don't worry, like that's okay, that's so fine. And oh, honestly, he's so beautiful. He is so like. <sighs> My heart was fluttering a lot when I was in that man, with that man, like, he's so sweet and his English was, I was very, 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 very impressed with his English. Um, so after him um, was Sejun. Now, oh my gosh, this boy just hit me like a train going at 120 miles per hour and I just, I, I don't even know what happened but he is officially now my new bias which is really bad because he's younger than me and... Uh, but anyways, I talked to him and I said my usual greeting and then I said to him that, um, oh yeah, after I asked him if he liked Australia and he said, yeah, I really did, but um, like he was kind of sad because his English is not so good and I said, it's okay because my Korean is not so good so we can meet each other halfway um, and he was saying that Australia was really, really beautiful and he asked if the um, weather there is really nice right now and I said no actually you know there's a lot of rain at the moment and it is really really cold back home and he said oh because you know right now Korea is actually really really hot and then I was like oh I really don't like the weather like I don't like hot weather and he was like oh yeah me too like I don't like hot weather so we had like a little cute little like fan, fan moment over the fact that we both don't like hot weather. Um, he also told me that my Korean was really good, but I think they were just being really kind. I don't think my Korean is that great at all, so don't 
take it as my Korean is good. Um, and he told me that, you know, I can do it because I said it was hard. He wrote a message on the bottom of my page, which I, I absolutely cannot read except for my name. So I'm just going to have to somehow work out what he wrote. But um, yeah, he was such a sweet boy. He's so beautiful. I'm just, ah, oh. yeah. I got a new bias, guys. This is my new bias. So Sunjik was lost and he said at the beginning of the fan sign that his voice wasn't feeling so well so I kind of didn't want to push him. It was kind of like a sugar moment where you know when I saw sugar I saw that he was tired. I didn't really want to force too much on them because I know that they're pushing themselves to be able to do this event. So when I got up to him I asked you know is your voice a bit sore and he's like yes and I was like well you have to drink hot tea with honey and he was like yes 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 I will um, and obviously I said my usual lines, I'm from Australia, so a cake on, blah -de -ba -de la He said he really, really likes Australia and he really wants to come again. And then I asked him what his favorite food in Korea is, and he wrote here that it is Sangyup Sai, which is the Korean barbecue um, pork. And I asked him where has the best Sangyup Sai, like where should I try? And he wrote an address and a restaurant here. It's in Hapjon, and I think it's called Kim Si San. Something? I don't know I haven't deciphered it or googled it yet and I was also telling him that I was learning Korean but it's a little hard so he wrote down here that he believes that I could do well which I think is super super sweet and honestly I was so thankful he even talked to me because I could tell that there was definitely a strain in his voice and he was staying a lot with other fans so I kind of really didn't want to push him that was kind of my experience with them it felt like really quick like it felt like I did that really quick but I think it was actually quite a long time that I was able to spend each, with each member um, even with the slight language bar barrier I managed to talk a lot with them and they were super super nice like I said they're really really sweet boys but yeah after the fan sign after everybody was done the boys got up and performed their latest song um, and yeah, and that finished the fan sign, which literally went for so long, but it didn't feel like that long until I literally got home and I was like, oh my gosh, it's like almost 1 a.m. Um, so yeah, it was it was it was a long day, but it was an enjoyable day, and the boys are super super sweet, and they kept on saying, you know, I look forward to seeing you again, and if they have another comeback while I'm here, I will definitely try again because. Like I said, they're just literally the sweetest boys, and they're so nice, and look stand victim all right like just go listen to the music and you'll fall in love these boys are so sweet and so talented um and definitely a group to look out for definitely a group to look out for um but yeah if you have any questions about this fan sign um please put them down below i might make a separate video comparing the different fan signs here that i've been to um that could better explain the processes and all that because i realized this fan sign and the bts fan sign is actually quite different uh, i'm sorry if this video is a bit long i will try my best to edit it to be shorter um but thank you for watching um thank you for subscribing and i will see you guys at my next video bye